hi my friends welcome again another amazing video with another laptop a huge laptop a very big and heavy laptop my friends with a big charger as you can see so we're gonna check this laptop and fix it together this is a filled laptop my friends of course this is a little bit maybe an old laptop but no problem let's fix it and take the knowledge the, the, the most important is understand how things work okay so guys this is a charger adapter with as you can see here let's see the output we have here 18.5 volt 6.5 amps do you see 120 for power a very huge laptop my friend and also 6.5 amps really big charger so let's find out my friends let me connect the adapter and check what is exactly the failure for this laptop let's do it so let's insert the adapter maybe here this is basically guys this is hp laptop by the way this is hp laptop so let's check okay here we have the power jack in the side as you can see my friends so let me connect the adapter and let's check it out so guys here i have the power button this press so basically good i have here the wi-fi led is on okay so let's press the power button okay the power button is on let me switch off the lights you see guys the our power button is on i hear the fan spin the power button is on the screen is black a black screen here also the leds as you can see all of them are on here so guys this is the third laptop i will fix with the same problem black screen the black screen guys basically is one of the most uh, common faults in laptops black screen so how can we fix this always we use three steps the first steps before diving into the motherboard voltages check the motherboard circuits guys it's off okay on again so off on off on so we have something here it could be the heat it could be something with the motherboard but but this kind of laptops basically as I told you, we began. Let me switch on the lights. Always we check the RAM, the screen cable, and the BIOS, the BIOS firmware, if it is corrupted for this kind of RAM. But since the laptop still on about one minute and then off, it could be something with the processor. So let's find out, my friend okay let's remove the adapter and of course remove the battery of course okay okay nice guys i will open the laptop and then check inside so stay tuned guys for some laptops don't forget this side okay my friends now we are in so this is the ram here i have the processor the fan 
Simos battery, the Wi-Fi card, the HDD, to say the truth, very clean, it's clean, good. We have the RAM process, so it could be something here with the RAM circuit, the processor circuit. Okay, nice. So let's check it out. Okay, good, good. Simos battery, fine. Let's check with the RAM, guys. Let's remove the RAM. Here we have the RAM. Let's clean the RAM. Let's check again. This is always the first step, always by cleaning the RAM, my friends. Let's do it. And guys, please, we didn't clean the RAM. We clean RAM. To clean any RAM, you should do like this. Clean it like this. For beginner, we clean RAM like this, my friends. Okay? This side also. That's our way to clean the RAM. Also, the RAM slot. We clean it like this here, okay. This one also. Nice. Okay, let's connect it and check it out, my friends. Always pay attention that the RAM is connected smoothly, not like this or like this, my friend. Do not connect it like this. Always like this and push it like this. This is for beginners. So let's check it out, my friends. So let me first connect the adapter. Okay, connect the adapter, good, and let's check, okay, let's check if we have something in the screen, in the screen black, still black screen, the LED comes on, nothing off again, the laptop is off again. Again, start again. Okay, the fan spin. Do we have something here? Nothing. Nothing in the screen. Okay. Remove the charger. Let me use another RAM. Okay, let me use another ROM instead of this one and then check the laptop and then go to the motherboard if the problem still persists. Okay, let me grab another DDR3 RAM. Okay, where can I find it? Okay, one moment please. So guys, I don't have any RAM right now, I should go outside and bring it outside, but in the meantime, let's take some voltages, let's check the voltages here, if the voltages are present for the processor, 